Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how the pros are currently playing a site Anubis. These POVs are taken from the 2022 Blast World Final, so let's get right into it. Starting off, let's go over some basic utility. Basically, every A site anchor knows some variation of the T stairs nade, and this is a really strong nade that almost guarantees damage if the T side is playing a default type of round. The lineup that I like the most is used by JKS and Nitro. Basically, you just get stuck in this corner here, and you want to aim at this section of the brick slightly to the right and then just take a few steps forward and jump through. Here are a couple of examples of JKS and Nitro putting the nade into action. And as you can see in both of these examples, the T side takes an insane amount of damage. You can also use the same lineup with a Molotov and this can allow your team to get a little aggressive by pushing into canals or peaking connector. One thing that you have to be careful of when using this HE is the counter nade from the T side. You can see here that Neofrag lines up with the corner of the water here and just running jump throws to HE. This does some really good damage onto Nitro and I could definitely see some nade stacks using this lineup in the future to get an early opening on the A site player. Here are a couple of different lineups from other pros which in my opinion aren't quite as good as they don't do as much damage as the first lineup but they could be worth learning if you want a couple of different variations. Now after this nade, a lot of players are choosing to molly off a main early to keep control of this area and this can be great to help set up a late peek into canals. In this example, Nico is going to set up a pop flash for JKS to peek and get some information. This is a very strong information play, especially in the early to mid round. For the flash lineup, Nico just stands up against this wall and aims above the window here and left click throw. This lineup has a lot of room for error so it doesn't have to be exact. Another way that I've seen a main mollied off is from Shush where he's going to throw the molly through this window. For the lineup you simply stand in this corner and you want to aim at this little dark spot on the bricks and you have to left plus right click jump throw so a middle click jump throw. The molly is going to land outside a main and because it lands so early it does a great job of preventing an early rush while also giving you a lot of space to get some information. In terms of some mid to late round positioning most players are choosing to play in one of these three areas either on plat holding a smoke for a main like like in this example here, or behind default, just jiggling the A main angle and being ready to put out the default Molotov, or just outside connector, playing more of a retake kind of setup with the team. In any of these positions, you will likely want to have a smoke for the late round to counter any Molotovs or to create some space. And right now, there are a load of different one ways on the A site that people are using, and a lot of them are very, very strong. This is the reason that most A site anchors are choosing to keep their smokes late in the round to shut down and execute. But they can also be used to get early picks. Here Shush is going to use a super nice one way at the entrance of A main. For the lineup he just gets stuck next to this pillar here and aims at the bottom right corner of this light patch on the brick. This catches Flames completely off guard and you can see from Flames' POV that he can barely see Shush at all so this is definitely a really strong one way to use. Another one way in the same kind of position is from JKS. For this lineup he's just going to get stuck next to the pillar on site and he aims at the bottom right corner of this darker smudge on the brick. This leaves a little gap on the right side of the smoke. Unfortunately Magus is going to cancel out the smoke with his own smoke so we won't get to see it in this example but here I'm doing the smoke on my own server and you can see that it's very easy to see the enemy legs under the corner of the smoke. The last one way I'll show here is from Rops. After doing a pre-nade for T-Stairs, he's just going to stand behind this pillar on plat and aims at this area on the ground. Once he gets mollied on plat, he will throw the smoke down and he will drop down into the pit on site, but he gets a one way on the bottom right corner of the smoke. Unfortunately, he doesn't get any frags from this position, but I still think it's a very solid smoke to pull out every now and again. Something that you can add to your playbook on the A site is this aggressive play from Fang. Fame is going to run straight to A main and he's going to aim at the bottom right of this window. After a couple of steps, he's just going to running jump throw to flash and Fame is going to peek into canals with it. This can be very useful to punish the T side if they're playing a bit more aggressive in canals early on. One of the best teams right now on Anubis is Team Liquid and I really like how Nitro approaches the A site. One of the key pieces of utility that Nitro uses is this smoke on the bottom of stairs. As I play through a couple of these clips, you can just see how powerful this smoke can be to play around. Almost every time that Nitro used the smoke, he got a frag from it. And a lot of the time, Nitro just does the smoke on the fly. And in general, you just kind of need it to land at the bottom.
bottom of the stairs in around this area. But if you want a more exact lineup for the one-way variation of this smoke, you just need to be up against this wall and you want to aim at this section on the brick. With this smoke, you can get a one-way on both sides of the smoke and it can be a pretty nice variation where you can kind of shuffle between a few different smokes on this site. If you have a friend to queue with or you are in a team, this is probably the most common setup that pro teams are running right now. In this example, OC is going to position himself on this ledge behind a pillar and it's important that you leave a very slight gap on the right side of the pillar as this is going to be your reaction protocol. From this position, you just want to hold a smoke on this lineup here that OC is using. And the idea is that once you spot the enemy through the gap on the pillar, you will throw your smoke, which smokes off the aim main entrance. Now at the same time, if you have a teammate that can hold this flash here for you, Nitro is going to position himself next to the entrance to A connector. And from here, you just want to aim at this spot on the roof. Once OC takes contact from A main here, Nitro will flash at the same time and this is perfect to counter any contact plays or A site executes as you flash off the entrance while also smoking it off, basically completely denying any push that the enemy team can do. The final thing that I'll leave you with is this position from Magisk and this is a really sick off angle that works especially well with the AUG. This position nets Magisk a 3k and when we switch over the G2's perspective you can see just how difficult this off angle is to clear and the entirety of G2 don't really stand a chance, you wouldn't want to use this every single round as they could start to predict it but it would definitely be really strong to pull out a couple of times a half and to finish off the video i'm just going to leave you with a couple of different angles that pro players are using at the moment you can see that sometimes they play from heaven around the default area just outside a connector there's a couple of different positions that you can use but hopefully you get a kind of idea of how you want to play the a site from this video so that's it if you enjoyed it leave a like to let me know and subscribe for more content like this peace out